when Kelsey Ballerini's Love Me Like You Mean It, Black River, hit the top of the Billboard Country Airplay chart, dated July 4. It ended a hefty dry spell for solo females at number one. It had been two years and eight months since a woman had reigned as a lead artist, Carrie Underwood had ruled for two weeks with Blown Away beginning October 27, 2012. That's a long time, the longest drought, in fact, for lead solo female artists in the chart's 25-year history. But why such a long wait? What's going on at radio? Is the research not there? Are there biases and misconceptions regarding women at country? Checking in with a sample of programmers, Billboard found that many PDs say they have been supportive of women, even if national consensus doesn't appear to back that up. I have had a lot of success with females here, and in many cases, that didn't translate nationally, says Tim Roberts, operations manager, PD of CBS Radio's Wyke Detroit. This single worked across the board with us. She came in, played the conference room early on, the star fell in love with her, and then it tested phenomenally right out of the gate. It had all the ingredients for a hit record. Roberts adds another important viewpoint, although there has been such a wide gap between no ones for solo females, his playlist has long been peppered with women, thanks to female-led groups. When Karen, fair child of Little Big Town, sings lead on Girl Crush, that's a female. Listeners don't make these rigid industry distinctions that we do. Same thing with Lady Antebellum, the band Berry and so on. Those groups have tallied one, nine and four country airplay no. Ones, respectively, since 2009.